Celtics arriving earlier. The players with a look of intensity as they try to pick up a win on the road. And welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. Here with the greats, Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill. I'm Brian Anderson and Ali LaForce, our reporter. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for Jason Tatum. And a stat to focus on is his steal total over the last five games. He's been working on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot better on D. And the starting group for the Celtics. White and Brown with the two and the three. Kristaps Porzingis out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point. And for the Cavaliers, Okoro and Mobley, your small and power forwards. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. And it's Allen in at the five, down low. And we've moved towards the back end of the season, Richard. How much is this part of the year a game of attrition? Oh, nobody is healthy right now. That's just a part of it. That's why depth matters so much. Plus, your mental toughness is tested to a max right now. So Cleveland will get first possession. Mobley outside. Back to Garland. And he's going for the lob. White with the steal. And here's Tatum. Pass to Brown. Back to Tatum. Good D by Mobley. The three from Mitchell. Connects from downtown. That's cash. Mitchell is a volume three-point shooter for a reason now. Boston on offense. It's a three-point game. Porzingis with a screen on Mobley. Tatum passes to Porzingis. Brown in the high post. Just five to shoot. Tatum with it. Now guarded by Mobley. Holiday from long range. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule. Losing to the Knicks. I really think that L has to fall on their defense or a lack thereof. Just not enough focus at that end of the floor. Some of it was solid shooting from their opponent, but they didn't have any teeth with their defense. Need to be more active than they were. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Now here's Holiday. Really played well against Golden State in his last game. Here's Brown. It's tipped. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. And the foul called on Kristaps Porzingis. That's his first foul of the game. Boston on D. Nothing up yet on the scoreboard for him. Pass to Okoro. Clock at six. Mobley, a screen on Brown. Okoro passes to Mobley. Just such a menace. Tatum can really stretch the floor for them defensively. Well, Boston's been a franchise that has sustained winning, Richard. Yeah, B.A., look, they've had down years like anyone, but they don't have down decades. And the Celtics, they replenish as fast as any team outside of maybe their rival Lakers. The Cavaliers have gone two of three from the floor. Allen outside. Back to Garland. Outside for Mitchell. Pass to Mobley. Here's Okoro. Outside Mitchell. Over Holiday. That one's wide left. Boston trailing. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Porzingis sets a screen. Tatum from long range. The rebound by Allen. 
still very early, but that's not the start they want. One for five shooting. Pass to Mitchell. Allen with a screen on Brown. From deep, Mitchell. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. And Porzingis has got the ball here for the Boston Celtics. Last time they met in Boston, <laughs> it was a lockdown effort defensively. Contesting shots and really protecting the painted area. They were very disciplined on that end of the floor, staying attached to shooters and disrupting plays with their active hands. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Mitchell, the pass to Allen. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That's his first foul of the game. Mobley finds Mitchell. Puts the move on. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And what you love about the Cavs, on most nights, they take really good shots, Grant. Uh, they do, B.A. I mean, I love the way they work the ball into the painted area. And even their guards are constantly penetrating, getting into the paint, creating for themselves and their teammates. First free throw is good. And talk about consistency, RJ. Boston has made the Eastern Conference Finals five out of the last seven years. Yeah, that's pretty phenomenal, especially since some of their best players are still developing. I know a guy that thinks that they haven't been very good for a very long time. But I know what Celtics fans want. They want a ring. But they should still feel very proud of what this young team has accomplished. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. Boston has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Tatum against Mobley. Tatum passes to Porzingis. Now White. He shoots. That misses. So no good on his first attempt of the night. Mitchell finds Garland. And there's the lob. And Mobley throws it down. Yeah, and Moby's teammates love throwing lobs his way. Why? Because he catches pretty much anything you throw up there. And Boston has possession. Trailing by four. Garland against Holiday. Right side Tatum. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to be Evan Mobley. I think Tatum got what he wanted there. Shot in the air and the foul. Well done. He makes a first, and even in a short time in the NBA, Tatum has become the model wing for the modern NBA, RJ. Yeah, he does everything so well. Shooting, defense, playmaking, you name it, this man has it. He gives you everything you want and need in that wing position. And so he hits both. You know, the Cavs have done a nice job rebuilding since the end of the second LeBron era, Richard. Now, it took a few years, B.A., but yes, the front office has found some quality talent in the draft. Darius Garland, Evan Mobley, and they've made aggressive moves getting Donovan Mitchell that helped them get back into the postseason. Now, here's Mobley. He's coming off a 10-point game against New York. Four on the clock. Here's Allen. Docks down the 18-footer. For a big, Allen is so fluid, setting a pick and then gracefully rolling into position. Outside, Brown. The kick to Tatum. Oh, rejected by Allen. White, the pass to Tatum. 
And defense is all about will and desire. Here are the NBA leaders in steals so far. Number one, Jason Tatum. His defensive focus has been superb these last few games. Continuously finding ways to strip ball handlers and upset the offense. for Tatum when talking about the Celtics you'd have to say they have a unique one-two punch Grant yeah I mean think about it B.A. to have Tatum on one wing and Brown on the other that's a potent combination and what a luxury for Boston they complement each other so well Morris he's checked in for Mobley both shots good from the strike now look, from the moment he stepped into this league, Jason Tatum has been a difference maker. Every team in the league is looking for guys like him. Long, athletic, and most importantly, winners. Garland, no good. The Celtics have gone only two of six from the field. Holiday finds Brown. Back to Holiday. Now Brown. And pushing it up. Here's Cleveland. And it's Allen who slams it home. When you combine his length and leaping ability, Allen is a ridiculous lob threat. And so Holiday will bring it up for Boston. Four-point game. Outside Tatum. Porzingis sets the screen. Pass to White. Outside Tatum. Just five on the clock. And after missing his first three shots, he drains it. One for four. And Tatum has a number of shots to choose from down low. This makes him a tough cover. The Cavaliers have gone five of nine from the floor. Now here's Garland. Now Mitchell. Five on the clock. Allen with a screen on White. The three from Mitchell gets the three ball to go. Mitchell's got eight. Creating the opportunity. Mitchell makes the right call for this situation. Tatum against Morris. Tatum passes to Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. Such confidence as a passer. He hits guys in stride. It makes it look easy. The Cavaliers leading. Pass to Mitchell. Here's Akuro. Morris sets a screen. Here's Allen. Rebound Boston. Porzingis has got five rebounds in the game. White the pass to Brown. And the Celtics another three. He can do a lot with the ball, but Brown is just as good playing off the ball. He's always ready to catch and fire. The Cavaliers have gone six of 11 so far. Garland against Holiday. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. Morris outside. The three-pointer off the mark. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. Here's White going inside. And that misses. That would have put him up. Defense pulled out all the stops and shut him down there. Pass to Mitchell. Back to Garland. White against Mitchell. Six on the shot clock. From deep. The long distance three is buried. 11 points in the game. This quarter has been all his. I suggest they keep the ball in his hands. White against Mitchell. And here's Brown for three. 
And again, I'm Boston I'm with the triple. Love the response by Brown, right. marching right back down and dropping in his own three. Timeout call, the Cavaliers. For the Cavaliers, Niang, he's checked in for Jared Allen. Lavert comes in for Okoro. And it's Struess in for Donovan Mitchell. A big group substitution here for Boston. Horfer, he's checked in for Porzingis. Tillman comes in for Tatum. Hauser, he's checked in for White. And Pritchard is subbed in for Drew Holiday. Boston's gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Here's Pritchard, defended by Niang. Struess against Brown. No good there. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Horford passes to Pritchard. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Oh, you gotta love George Niang's nickname. The minivan. One you don't hear very often. Pretty clever. Yeah, he gets it from being a little bit slow up and down the court, but he gets you there in good time. But let's be real, none of his teammates want to have to guard him. The Cavaliers have gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. Garland finds Morris. Back to Garland. And here's Struess outside. Rebound Boston. Fresh off a win against the Warriors. It really was the strength of their D helping them to force a lot of mistakes. Not just forcing mistakes, but converting them into buckets on the other end. Great controlled aggression from their D in that game. The Cavaliers shooting about 47% during this first quarter. The kick out to Morris. Three-pointer. They get it back. Outside Garland. Jacks up a three. It doesn't go for him. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Brown passes to Pritchard. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Well, that was clearly a foul. it up and his next one could give him the lead Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Cleveland and that one falls that puts him up one point in the game now now here's Struess checking his stats he's scoring around nine and a half points per game Morris finds Mitchell and that comes off the assist by Morris. Mitchell's got 14. And shooting-wise, he's been fantastic, helping to build this lead. Boston has gone 3 of 7 from beyond the arc in the first. Brown scaling the floor. Horford a screen on Struess. Brown with it, guarded now by Morris. Horford for 3, and the 3-pointer goes. And the Celtics lead by 1. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Pass to Morris. To the middle. Here's Mitchell. We've got 108 left to play in the first quarter. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. Boston's gone four of eight from outside in this first quarter. Brown against Struess. Here's Hauser. Here's Pritchard. He's averaging almost five points a game. Outside, Brown. 
Beyond the arc. Struess grabs the miss. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Two open that time. Made it look easy. And now a four-point Cavalier lead. That's a big make for Levert. Should help his confidence. 35 seconds left in the first. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Tillman. To the inside. Oh, Morris with a steal. And now the Cavaliers on the break. Hauled in by Brown. Horford, a screed on Struess. Brown passes to Horford. Just a big-time effort for Donovan Mitchell, providing a lot of energy for the Cavaliers. With four three-pointers in the quarter alone, proving he's a threat at the arc. We'll be right back with you shortly. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Cavaliers. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. You know, they've also been very effective at running the floor. Just a ton of points in the fast break. It's been a big part of their success. And it's Tatum with a ball for Boston. Trailing by four. Mitchell and Struess are the backcourt. Karis LeVert is out there with George Niang. And it's Morris in at the five. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. Now here's Tatum. 23 points for him last game against Golden State. What a job he's done defensively, causing turnovers, just being a pain for the opposition. And, of course, you had a couple of great seasons with the Cavs. Richard, talk about the current state of that team. J.B. Bickerstaff has done a great job rebuilding, and he's a great coach. Smart trades, they've nailed the draft, and look, it helps me get a new superstar in town named Donovan Mitchell. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. The Celtics have terrific depth. They have a number of reserves who could start for other teams. All-star Jason Tatum said those guys sacrificing coming off the bench, I think that just speaks volumes to the commitment that we have to be our best and to playing to our standard every night. Brian? That's what it takes, Allie, right? Thank you. Now here's Mitchell. He's coming off a 25-point game against New York. And defensively, he's been all over the place, wreaking havoc and pouncing on a number of steals. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. Both free throws good from Morris. And about a minute gone in the second quarter. Tatum feeling it out a bit. Horford outside. Shot clock at six. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. Cleveland has gone five of 12 from three-point range tonight. Morris. Oh, and a slam dunk by Morris. Oh, nice ball movement by Levert. A welcome sign for this team. The Celtics have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. 
Pass to Tatum. Over Lavert. Boston, no good that time either. And he felt like he needed a little bit more space with the fade to get off a shot, but that might have been what threw him off and made a miss. After scoring with ease in the first quarter, he's really cooled down a bunch here. Here's Tatum. Here's Tillman. Nice start for him, sinking his first shot. Good things come to those who hustle. He creates the second chance opportunity. Niang outside. Pass to Mitchell. From downtown. From outside. Mitchell is good. Even with all the threes he nailed in the first quarter, the defense still hasn't made the proper adjustments. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Horford, left side. Here's Tillman. Here's Hauser. No points so far. Here's Pritchard. Second chance effort. And he sinks the layup. How about the level of activity this dude just brings to the glass? Just refusing to give up on plays. And his teammates, trust me, they appreciate the effort. Oh, and a slam dunk by Morris. And although he's undersized at his position, his vertical, yeah, that'll clean up a few mistakes. The Celtics have gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Now Tatum, he's got nine. Pass to Pritchard. Let's it go from deep. It's rebounded by Morris. Morris has got four rebounds now. Outside Mitchell. Puts up a three. Boston with a rebound. Tillman's got five rebounds tonight. And to put things simply, this has not been his quarter. And Tatum, here we go. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Strong finish by Tatum. Nothing was stopping him there. For the Cavaliers, Allen, he's checked in for Morris. And Okoro is subbed in for Niang. Kristaps Porzingis, he's checked in for Boston. Holiday comes in for Hauser. Almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Mitchell with the ball. He's got 19. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. You're not going to be perfect. For the most part, they've really taken care of the ball. And so Horford will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. It's a three-point game. And following this one, they'll take on the Nuggets in Denver. That'll be just the second road game of five in a row. And that one's good for Zingas. Impressive ball handling from Tatum. Attracts the other team's focus and then finds the open man. Cleveland has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Mitchell against Holiday. Pass to Struess. This one for three. That one falls. He's now one for three. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Now here's Tatum. 12 points for him. Here's Porzingis. The shot misses. Cleveland has got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. Well, the perfect frame for a modern defensive big man. Jared Allen at 6'9 with a 7'5 wingspan. Yeah, and he's able to move laterally and contest vertically. Not a lot of flash to his game. More than effective, though, and he is a linchpin for them inside. Holiday passes to Tatum. Back to Holiday. Just three to shoot. Over a Coro. The shot by Holiday, no good. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. A nice shot by Mitchell. Ooh, this guy is as hot as they come from distance. Defensively, you almost have to pick him up once he crosses half court. Now here's Holiday. Five points in the game. Pass to Tatum. Oh! 
Oh, rejected by Allen. Oh, and with that wingspan of Allen, you always have to be aware of where he is because he will block a shot from pretty much anywhere. And that's how you defend. Glad we had a chance to see a replay of that block again. Oh, showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. Evan Mobley, he's checked in for the Cavs. Garland comes in for Struess. Jalen Brown, he's checked in for Boston. White comes in for Pritchard. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Cleveland has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. And the call will be against Derek White. That's foul number two for him. That's his second, and I think they'll keep him in, but he's got to be careful. A third, and he'll sit for the rest of the half. Mobley passes to Mitchell. Allen with a screen on White. Tatum with a steal. Let's go with a three. Connects again from distance. And for this franchise now, he's hit the most threes in a single season. His incredible range stretches out the defense on a nightly basis. It's an invaluable element to this offense. And it's Allen who slams it home. He is an elite, elite offensive rebounder. Allen is especially good at getting ideal positioning on that glass. Mobley against Tatum. Porzingis with a screen on Mobley. Tatum passes to Porzingis. Shoots over Allen. Porzingis misses. The Cavaliers have gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. Pass to Garland. Now Mobley. From deep. Called in by Brown. Brown's got four rebounds in the game. Now here's Holiday. Covered by Mobley. Holiday passes to Brown. Porzingis with it. Allen defending. Down to five on the shot clock. The fader. Basket's good. Porzingis has got five points now this quarter. <laughs> he can beat you inside. He can beat you outside. Porzingis is truly the prototypical stretch big. Now here's Garland. He's coming off a 25-point game against New York. Terrific all-around effort. He did a great job of creating for himself and others. Off target from outside. Boston trailing. Holiday looking for an opening. Left side, Brown. Got a piece of it. Here's Okoro. No points yet. Outside Garland. And the layup is good off the glass. And the Cavaliers lead by five. When you give Garland these looks, oh, he's going to find ways to capitalize. But I love his aggressiveness. Boston's gone seven for 17 from three-point range so far in this matchup. Porzingis with a screen on Mobley. Pass to Holiday. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got his fourth assist with that last one. Yeah, in the paint, Holiday's agility makes him tough to contain. He just needs a little space to go to work. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. Cleveland calls timeout. Harris Levert's checked in for Mitchell. Al Horford's checked in for Boston. Here's the 2K leaderboard showing us the teams with the best free throw percentage. Fourth, the Celtics. And this is a team that knocks down their free throws at an elite rate. Whoever they go up against should always try to avoid fouling them at all costs. And it's out of bounds to Cleveland. 
Here's what the Cleveland Cavaliers have lined up on their schedule. On Wednesday, they'll be playing against Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. Then on Friday, they'll be taking on Rudy Gobert and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And for their matchup with Phoenix, anything can happen in the NBA. But they'll be a heavy favorite, and it would take a total meltdown for them to lose. Pass to LeVert. Down low. Here's Allen. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. And that's going to be a foul on Boston. Hard to stop a guy with Allen's physical gifts inside. He forces the defense to get sloppy and foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Allen. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. So both free throws good from Allen. A pure five. Jared Allen isn't trying to shoot a bunch of threes. He bangs down low. He rebounds, protects the paint. He is a rare breed. Now here's White. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Golden State. Six to shoot. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to be Evan Mobley. You know, when Derek White came into the league, he ran the point. Richard, things have changed since then. Yeah, B.A., since transitioning into more of a scoring role as a guard, White has not disappointed, taking more shots and seeing those scoring averages go up. The first one falls. Well, if we want to talk about Derek White for a moment... He's become such an effective defender, Grant. Yeah, you know, B.A., he's got a great mix of awareness and ability. Just an exceptional quickness that allows him to be a disruptor at that end. Struess, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. White hits them both. They've been flawless at the line this quarter. They need to stay aggressive and keep drawing fouls. That'll help them chip away at the lead. Now here's LeBert. As far as his production, he's averaging about eight points per game. Pass to Okoro from the arc. Rebounded by the Celtics. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. White with it. Struce covering. Oh, Porzing is getting it done inside. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. The Cavaliers have gotten seven of 16 shots to go in the second. Levert outside. Shoots over Brown. The shot by Levert. No good. The battle of the boards has been something to watch. Brown inside. Guarded by Garland. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. Pass to Levert. And out of bounds. Boston will have it. Boston's gone 7-for-17 seven from three-point range so far in this matchup. White against Struess. On the wing, Holiday. Pass to Brown. No good from outside. And after connecting twice from deep in the first quarter, he hasn't been able to drain another here in the second. They get it back. Allen, his fourth make in five tries. Solid start for him. <laughs> Their intensity has only picked up this quarter, even while holding the lead. Garland against Holiday. A minute 15 left in the second quarter. Porzingis. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Standing at 7-3. 
We have never seen a player quite like Kristaps Porzingis, a fantastic shooter, a solid ball handler. What a talent. Free throw good from Porzingis. That one misses. When talking about Karis LeVert, he's someone that does whatever is asked of him, Grant. You know what, B.A.? You're right. Whether he's starting or coming off the bench, he's ready to contribute and help his team any way he can. One oh three left to play in the half. Pass to Garland. And here's Allen, defended by Porzingis. And it's Allen who slams it home. When you're Allen, just about seven feet, dunking comes easy. And Brown has got the ball here for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by two. Porzingis with a screen on Levert. Brown passes to Porzingis. Gets a very good look and converts. Porzingis has got 12. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone until someone stops him. Just let him roll. Now here's Struess. Up top, Allen. And the call will be against Derek White. That's his third foul so far. Picks up his third foul. We'll see now what coach decides to do from here. There's 18 seconds left in the second period. Garland, the pass to Thompson. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. one falls for him and I love watching Garland mature into a leader and you know what he is not done yet it's both from the strike 12 seconds left in the second period Outside, Brown. Pass to Brissett. Over Garland. No good from the wing. And there's the call on Al Horford. That's his first foul of the game. We're in the bonus now. And they'll go to the line. free throw is good he's perfect from the line this time And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Cavaliers ahead. Up by four. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three.
Greetings, Shaq, Kenny, and EJ here as we tip off the show with a look at our midseason Eastern Conference standings. You look at Cleveland. I had them as a top team before the season, and now I'm picking them to make the finals. Tell me I'm wrong, Kenny. You can't, because I'm right. Two plus two is five. Mm, and as much as it pains me, I have to agree with Big Fella. Now let's talk about our featured game. Guys, Donovan Mitchell was the star of that first half. He's known for his exceptional range, and he's proving it once again tonight, dialing it up from distance repeatedly. I think he's got more threes than Shaq had his entire career tonight. Yeah. Sorry, big fella. Come on, Kenny. That does it for halftime. Let's get back to game action. Here's Brian Anderson with the start of the third quarter. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. What a game we're seeing from Donovan Mitchell. He's hit shot after shot from deep. He's so locked in right now. If I'm his teammate, I keep feeding the hot hand, especially since he's been on fire from deep also. And Boston has possession. Four-point game. Taking a look at the Celtics. White and Brown are the two and the three. Jason Tatum out there with Kristaps Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the one spot. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Brown's got three assists in the game. Not just being selfless, but also smart with the ball. Brown is able to find the best guy for the right shot. Garland against Holiday. Garland, the pass to Okoro. To the paint. Here's Mobley. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Cavaliers lead by three. When you're guarding Mobley, you have to finish the possession on D. Seal him off or Evan, look, this man's going to punish you on that glass. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Ali LaForce. Well, Darius Garland has the talent to set the table and get his own. Coach Bickerstaff said, quote, Darius is really good first and foremost. He understands when it's time when we call his number and when it's time to get the other guys involved. We've been able to depend on him, and he's proven that the moment is never too big for him. Brian? All right, Allie, thank you for that. Good stuff. And here on the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Holiday against Garland. Tatum from long range. And the Celtics another three. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. Pass to Mitchell. And he lobs it up. And it's Allen who slams it home. Defensively, you have to put lots of focus on Garland, so that opens up things for others to get their shine. And it's Tatum with the ball for the Celtics. Trailing by four. Here's Holiday. Back to Tatum. Oh, and Mobley with the block. They've been dominating the boards tonight, yet it's still a close game. Mitchell against White. Takes a three. Rebounded by the Celtics. Porzingis has got eight rebounds in the game. Outside Holiday, Porzingis with a screen on Garland. Holiday passes to Porzingis. Basket counts. Porzingis has got 14 points. He gets a lot of his points on catch and shoot jumpers. Porzingis is always ready to let it fly if he's got the room. Inside, tipped. Fast break. Here come the Celtics. And there's Holiday. That's good. On the assist by Brown. He's got 12. And a steal like that, with the conversion, can really start moving things in your direction. The Cavs have gone 3 of 5 from the field in this third quarter. Time now out, a timeout out. called by Cleveland. It, it's simple. Turnovers mean you lose shot opportunities. And your opponent can get easy hoops.
And it's worth looking at the league's top scorers for the past month. These guys have been on a tear. Fifth, Jason Tatum. And this last month has been truly special for him. He's scoring at will and in a rhythm on offense. Boston on D. Mobley passes to Garland. The floater. Ooh, making his presence felt here. He's now six for nine in this game. A long, wiry combo guard. Holiday can make some acrobatic finishes. The Cavs trailing. Pass to Allen. Garland against Holiday. Mobley outside. Back to Garland. For three. They get it again. Boston has gone two for two from deep here in the third. No question, this offense has some firepower. <laughs> and they're looking very confident in all that they're doing right now. One's good. Mitchell making the play. Garland's gotten four this quarter. I really like that shot from Garland. Teams will give up the mid-range these days. So, look, why not shoot it and make it? So it's Boston now. And here's Tatum. He's got 18. Outside White. Outside Tatum. Outside Brown. From outside the arc. That one no good. And you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. First one at the line is good. Horford, he's checked in for Boston. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Celtics have gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. Outside Tatum. Out to Horford. Launches a three. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And you know, Richie, for his age, Evan Mobley's defensive instincts are off the charts. He plays the passing lanes well. He's always in the right position. And with that length and athleticism, he has a chance to be an all-time great defender. What coaches love about Allen is he finds points. You don't have to run a ton of stuff for him. Pass to Tatum. Horford outside. Tatum a screen on Mobley. Back to Tatum. Over a Coro. Boston no good that time either. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. Outside for Mitchell. Great look, but off the mark. Uh, I, I'm trying to think of the last time I saw him miss a shot like that. It's It's been a while. Outside Porzingis. Brown passes to Horford. Here's Tatum, guarded by Garland. Oh, and it's Tatum finishing it off inside. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. And so Garland will bring it up for Cleveland. The lead is two. Next up, they'll face the Hawks in Atlanta. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. Time called here. The Cavs decide to talk it over.
And the Cavaliers making a change here. Morris has checked in. Now a moment to take a look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it's been trending for Derek White. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. Boston on D. Trailing by two. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. That'll put Donovan Mitchell on the line. Jalen Brown picks one up. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Cavaliers. They've been just suffocating on defense the whole game. Look at their shot blocking. The opposition doesn't have any room to breathe. You also can't ignore the good job they've done rebounding on the offensive end tonight. That hustle has been well rewarded with second chance points. That free throw is good for Mitchell. We've seen Donovan Mitchell go off. He's gone for 70 plus in a game. That is special. It's Brown on the wing. Checked by Mitchell. Holiday from long range. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. And here comes Cleveland. They've gone on a 10 2 run, not allowing much. Garland against Holiday. Outside for Mitchell. Shot clock at five. Morris for three. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Pass to Porzingis. Out to Horford. The three. Hey, Horford from range. And he can still do so many things for you. Big Al calmly knocking it down from distance. Garland, the pass to Morris. Mitchell with the ball. Takes the three. Rebound Boston. Horford's got four rebounds in the game. Here's Brown. He can't hit that time. Ooh, good work defensively by Morris. They're losing because he is struggling so bad, and he has not looked comfortable all game. Holiday with the ball. Guarded now by Mitchell. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. A physical guard who plays with no fear. Holiday doesn't get to the line as often as you think. first. You know, one thing you gotta love about Drew Holiday is he's a true two-way player in this league. He puts in a lot of work to make a big impact on both sides of the floor. Good on the second one. For Cleveland, they've gotten 6 of 14 shots to drop in this third quarter. Garland, the pass to Allen. Here's Okoro. Pass to Allen. Shoots from the line. Rebounded by the Celtics. Brown's got his seventh rebound here tonight. The Celtics have gotten seven of 14 attempts to fall in the half. Horford outside. Holiday passes to Porzingis. He nails it. And we're tied. Porzingis has got four points now in the quarter. On the offensive end, Porzingis has been so dialed in, making the most of every scoring opportunity he gets. To the inside, Mitchell. Mitchell showing some muscle. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. For Boston, they've gone 8 of 15 in the third quarter. Pass to Tatum. And here's Brown for three. He's rebounded by Okoro. And he keeps trying to get himself out of this rut. But maybe it's not meant to be. I focus on sharing it with his teammates at this point. And the shot is good by Garland. 
in the second half, we've seen him refocus his shooting. Much fewer wasted possessions. And Boston calls time here. Different look for Cleveland. Niang comes in for Jared Allen. And Levert subbed in for Mitchell. And the Celtics also making a change. Pritchard's checked in for Tatum. And so it's Boston with it. Four-point game. Outside Holiday. Pass to Pritchard from behind the arc. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got his fourth assist in this one. And Holiday takes this responsibility seriously. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to them. Levert outside. Here's the Kuro. Niang a screen. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's on Al Horford. Can't get the first one. So he comes up empty, missing both. Normally he sinks all of his free throws. The defense got lucky there. Pass to Holiday. Outside, Brown. Again, the Celtics. Good for two more. Brown very confident in that jumper of his. Garland against Holiday. Here's Akuro. Now here's Morris. He's got six. Clock at six. Pass to Garland. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. On target from range. Levert's got six. Incredible game. This lead has been exchanged eight times. Tremendous show of will and resilience on both sides. And so Brown will bring it up for Boston. Trailing by two. Something I appreciate about Karis Levert is his flexibility as a player, Richard. Yeah, B.A., he's got that kind of ready-for-anything mindset. Whenever he's needed, he is ready. And let me just say this. It's a little bit rarer than you think in this league. Here's Okoro. Launches it. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Holiday finds Brown. Here's Brown on the drive. Here's Porzingis. He's rebounded by Okoro. Okoro's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Niang. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And it's a four-point Cleveland lead. There's a minute 17 left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Garland against Holiday. To the middle. Oh, getting it done. Horford gets it to go. I mean, Holiday is a master of the fundamentals, using the tried and true pick and roll to create for his guys. 
59 seconds left in the third quarter. Levert outside. Garland, the pass to Levert. Nie, right side. The three is up. Yes, and a nice assist from Garland. Garland's got assist number seven tonight. Great instincts with the ball. Garland just picks a guy. Look, he sets him up to score. Boston has got four of eight attempts to fall from deep here in the third quarter. Pass to Horford. Back to Holiday. Here's Pritchard. Left side, Brown. And it's Niang with a rebound. And if they want to mount a comeback here, they need him to get going. It's just that simple. Okoro, no good. Boston trailing. If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the quarter. Yeah, it's all about clock management with these situations. Let's see how it plays out. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. The three from Okoro. No good. It's still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. Cavaliers ahead. Up three. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling here on 2K Sports. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. A lot of times a spectacular pass is more impressive than a spectacular shot. This is one of those times. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. Mitchell and Struess are the backcourt. George Niang out there with Karis LeVert. And it's Morris in at the center position. That's the five for Cleveland right now. LeVert outside. Fires the three. Rebound Boston. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be up. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Tatum to tie it up. It's rebounded by Morris. Morris has got five rebounds in the game. Ooh, rejected by Horford. The great positioning, the 7-1 wingspan. That combination makes Horford a dangerous shot blocker. It's great to see a fantastic block on replay once again. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. On defense, the Celtics. It's a three-point game. Pass to Morris. Sinks it from distance. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. Falls for Tatum. And so Tatum nails both of them. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. 
Mitchell deciding where to go with it. Pass to Struess. Niang a screen. Struess with it. Now Horford defending. Struess the pass to Niang. Five to shoot. Here's Morris. Outside for Mitchell. 4-3. The rebound, Celtics. Tillman's got seven rebounds in the game. Boston shooting around 44%. Not bad. Pritchard, the pass to Tillman. Back to Pritchard. Out to Horford. 19-footer. Donovan Mitchell with a board. Cleveland has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Here's Niang. Connects from downtown. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Last quarter of play. About two minutes in now. To the paint. And Horford powers it home. Look at Horford just rocketing off the floor. Putting the defense on notice with a big dunk. Pass to Struess. Now Mitchell. Morris sets a screen. Now here's Levert. Off target from three-point range. Just hasn't found much consistency from the floor. But his teammates have picked up the slack. Here's Pritchard. The three is up. Doesn't go that time. Good work defensively by Mitchell. Struce the pass to the A. And he goes in for the dunk. Did you guys see that? What an insane slam. Man, you got to have some hang time to pull that off. And we're about three minutes into the fourth now. Here's Pritchard. Checked by Mitchell. Pass to Hauser. Here's Horford. He's got it. Six of ten now. Well, Horford isn't afraid to go old school and drop a shot there from mid-range. Morris outside. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. down the first one. Okoro is checked in for Cleveland. The Celtics also with a sub. Holiday is checked in. And he makes both free throws. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Levert goes against Tatum. Pass to Hauser. The three. Cavaliers with a rebound. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Horford in the high post. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Oh, nothing new for Horford. He knows how to score against tough coverage. Now Levert. to Morris. Fires the three. Sinks the tray. And the Cavaliers lead by eight. And you can tell he's starting to figure things out here in the second half. Boston's gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Oh, it's stolen by Levert. And here's the fast break. The finish! And the fast break ends at the rim with a jam. It all starts with the steal by Levert. He timed that swipe just right. The Celtics have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Holiday against Mitchell. Pass to Hauser. Puts up a three. 
Nails it from beyond the arc. Hauser's got himself on the board with a three there. You give a shooter of his caliber that much time to seam it up? Oh, yeah, you're done. And here's Mitchell. He'll bring it up for the Cavaliers. They've led by as much as 10. Levert outside. Down low. Here's Struess. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Free throws drop for Struess. Thompson, he's checked in for Morris. And Struess drops them both. The Celtics have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Holiday against Mitchell. Outside Tatum for three. And again, Boston with the triple. And now with two three-pointers in each half, he's really doing his all to help his team out from deep. Mitchell against Holiday. Pass to Okoro. Three-pointer. The rebound, Celtics. Horford's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Holiday. Here's Hauser. Second shot opportunity. No good that time. The Cavaliers have gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. Struess the pass to Mitchell. Launches it from deep. Tatum pulls it in. Boston has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Oh, it's stolen. Holiday finds Tatum. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got assist number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Holiday against Mitchell. Pass to Thompson. And it's going to be a three second call. Allen, he's checked in for Cleveland. Darius Garland comes in for Struess. Porzingis has checked in for Boston. Jalen Brown comes in for Hauser. The Celtics have gotten 6 of 12 shots to go here in this fourth quarter. Outside Tatum. They double-team Tatum. Back to Holiday. It's Brown on the wing. Check by Mitchell. Love the aggression from Brown. A tough cover for any defender out there. And he makes a first. And we've watched Brown blossom into a talented scorer, someone who's capable of shouldering that entire offensive load. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Mobley's checked in. The Celtics also with a sub. White's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. The Cavaliers leading. Mitchell with the ball. Allen a screen. Mitchell the pass to Allen. Here's Okoro. Outside Mitchell. Just five to shoot. Allen with a screen on White. Pass to Mobley. Let's go with a three. Allen. Out to Garland. Mobley outside. To the paint. Here's Mitchell to win the drought. Out to Mobley. 
And here's Garland. Outside Mitchell. Shoots over White. Mitchell misses. Nothing is going his way in this half offensively. Really having a hard time finding his shot. A nice shot by Brown. How about the focus from Brown? Only concerned with making that shot. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. They've led by as much as 10. Garland finds Mitchell. Pass to Allen. Rebound Boston. Tatum's got four rebounds in the game. Left side white. To take the lead. Oh, the block shot. Grabs it out of the air. Outside Garland. The shot off that time. Great D that time from Porzingis. Here's White. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Boston. Uh, they're moving the ball around so well, guys. Quick passes, letting the next guy do the sure work too. if you don't have a look. Yeah, something else they're doing in this game is striking from long range. The defense just hasn't been able to keep them off the arc tonight. And that one drops. So now they lead by one. White hits them both. And here's Mitchell. He's nearing a 30-point game here. Yeah, B.A., he's been decisive and aggressive. Pass to Okoro. A shot to stop the run. Tatum pulls it in. Tatum's got his fifth rebound in this one. Inside. Stolen by Mobley. Mitchell, the pass to Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. When you need one bad, go to a high percentage shooter, and Allen is that guy. The Celtics have gone 7 of 14 here in the fourth from the floor. Now Tatum, covered by Mobley. Tatum passes to Holiday, over to the left wing. The three, Porzingis. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got his 16th rebound on the night. And the foul called on Kristaps Porzingis. That's his third foul so far. Here's Okoro. Timeout, Cleveland timeout. calls timeout. Guard it. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Hey, team, I was able to catch the message that J.B. Bickerstaff was giving to his team. Coach had a clear message for his team. He said, quote, let's finish the job out there. It's ours for the taking if we can just get it done. So it sounds like he's hoping they can close out this game strong, guys. Thank you for that, Allie. And he lobs it up top. And it's Allen who slams it home. A great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. The Celtics on offense. They're on a 14-6 run. Pass to White. Outside Tatum. They double-team Tatum. And here's Brown for three. He can't get it to go. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The lead is two. Pass to Mobley. From downtown. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. 
Garland's got his ninth assist of the game now. There's a minute 54 left in the final quarter. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. you got to blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. To the inside, Garland. And finished off by Garland. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. Yeah, but they can't relax. they got to keep building on this lead because it is not safe. So it's Boston now. They trail by seven. Here's Tatum. Ooh, rugged finish from Tatum. It is the sheer confidence of Tatum, ready to put his team on his back. Cleveland shooting right below 40% here in the fourth. Mitchell up top. He's guarded by White. Mitchell, the pass to Garland. And Porzingis with the block. Holiday against Garland. Ooh, he's now 7 for 12. And the leadership of Holiday shining through. <laughs> wow. Awesome to see him come up big like this. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. A minute nine left in the fourth quarter here. Mitchell against White. Now here's Mitchell. Guarded closely. He connects! The moment is never too big for Donovan Mitchell. And the Celtics shooting an even 50% since the fourth quarter got underway. Outside Holiday. Kick out to Brown. Five to shoot. Goes back up. Porzingis misses. And now we've got an intentional foul. And the Cavaliers with possession here. It's a five-point game. And that's an intentional foul. He drops the first one. And that increases the lead to six. So he drops them both, and it's a seven-point game. He knows how important it is converting at the line and building up his lead. Outside Holiday. The shot, no good. Nice D from Garland. And here comes Cleveland. They're on a 13-4 run. So it's Cleveland winning this one. This one was in the balance right until the final seconds. NBA, they showed their character when it mattered most, sending those fans home happy. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Brian Anderson, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. Last but not least, here is your new balance player of the game, Donovan Mitchell.